Well, hello, everyone. My name is Lee Nichols, and I'm the editor and associate publisher of Hydrocarbon Processing Magazine. I would first want to thank all of you for attending the webcast today, which is basically kind of an update on our industry outlook that the editors of Hydrocarbon Processing presented in early December. What I'm going to be discussing here today is some of the major trends we are seeing in the industry, as well as more of a detailed look at the future of global downstream project activity, which was something we really didn't have time to go into too much in the previous industry outlook. So these webcasts, as you probably know, can get pretty extensive, so we will most likely run to the top of the hour. Because of this, we may not have time to go over some of the questions, but please be assured that I will answer those offline as soon as I can. Now, we are, we are converting this webcast into a podcast, so if I kind of get pretty descriptive on some of the slides, you'll know why. Um, I have to kind of paint the picture, you know, for the audio broadcast, so maybe they can convert my voice into some pleasing baritone sound, but we'll see. Now, before we do start, I do have some general housekeeping notes to go over. If you do want to ask a question, you can do that at any time during this webcast. All you have to do is type your question into the Q&A box. That's located on the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. Once you have that question in there, you just have to click Submit. You can enlarge your slide window anytime just by clicking on the box button on the top right corner of the slide area. The slides will advance automatically throughout the event, hopefully. Um, if you are experiencing problems with your program, please shake your computer violently. Just kidding. Press F5 on your keyboard to refresh the presentation. And then, of course, if you can always visit our webcast help guide by clicking on the help button below the slide window. So here's a look at the agenda today. First, we're going to take a look at supply and demand factors and capacity additions within each sector of the downstream hydrocarbon processing industry. We're going to review new and active project numbers by region and sector, along with detailed information on things like capital expenditures, global project market share, project activity levels, and whether these announced plans in certain regions or countries are even viable. So then we're going to go and break down uh, each region and look at some of the major trends there. And so by the end of the presentation, I hope that you'll have a really good idea on the major trends in the downstream industry. And then just an overall look at the capacity additions globally, and you'll be able to understand who's building what, where, and why they're doing it. And most importantly, what are the factors that are driving those uh, changes? So if we do have enough time, we will go into a in-depth discussion, in discussion also on a topic that's near and dear to my heart, and of course that is uh, 1980s hair bands. So where I thought we'd go from maybe Bon Jovi to White Snake, um, maybe to Def Leppard. So, however, this, this webcast goes long, so I don't know if we'll have enough time. So maybe next time. I think we're still looking for sponsors for that one. 